How to set up an advanced analog Modbus point with StructureWare SCADA Expert Clear SCADA. The trainee will be able to create an advanced Modbus point and all the objects to get the point communicating. We'll be getting an understanding on how to configure the objects for basic testing in the Clear SCADA environment. Be sure to have the Clear SCADA database running. This can be seen by checking the server icon in the Windows taskbar is blue. Start ViewX in the engineering environment and log in as a user that has full access, for example, the default ENG user. Right-click on the database tree and go to Create New Group and name it Modbus Exercise. Once you open the group, you'll notice a mimic contained within. This is what we'll be displaying our animations on. Next, add the following objects from the Create New menu. Modbus Advanced, Direct Channel and name it Channel. Modbus Advanced, Direct Outstation Set and name it Set. Modbus Advanced, SCADA Pack Modbus, SCADA Pack Direct Outstation and name it Outstation. Modbus Advanced, SCADA Pack Modbus, Analog Input Point and name it AI1. The channel is the object that defines the basic communications channel that will be used by Clear SCADA to talk to the device. This may be a serial port or TCP IP connection. In the database tree, open the channel object, go to the channel tab and put it in service. Next, double click on the error message displayed below. Clear SCADA will always display the configuration errors and this will always take you to the location of the configuration error. Set the channel to TCP IP, the host address to 127.0.0.1 and the port to 20,000. Now go to the Scan Parameters tab and set the line speed to maximum. Save and close the object configuration form. The outstation set ties groups of outstations together. In Modbus, for example, outstations connected to one set have a common Modbus master address. On the Set object, go to the Outstation Set tab and put it in service. Below you'll see the Channel field. Click Browse and navigate to the Channel object. Open the Modbus tab and set the address to 1. Save and close the object configuration form. The outstation relates to a physical entity, a PLC or RTU. All configuration needed to explicitly define the device and communications is configured in this object. This includes things like protocol addresses, IP addresses, poll periods, etc. Open the outstation object. Go to the outstation tab and put it in service. Hit the Browse button next to the Outstation Set field and browse to the Set object. Open the Modbus tab and set the address to 10. Save and close the object configuration form. Open the AI1 object, go to the Analog Point tab and put it in service. Hit the Browse button next to the Outstation field and browse to the Outstation object. Set the Modbus address to 3001. Scroll down to the Override option and enable this. This is purely to demonstrate the functionality of the Modbus point without being connected to a physical PLC. Save and close the object configuration form. Double click on the default mimic. Drag and drop the AI1 object onto the Mimic and when the drop-down menu appears, select the Value Formatted Value option to display the point. Right-click on the AI1 point in the database tree and select Override option. 
From the pop-up that appears, you'll be able to enter the value. This will be written to the point and displayed via the value animation created earlier. For further information, please visit www.schneider-electric.com or contact your local Schneider Electric representative.